Summer's ending soon, but that's no worry when you've got a houseboat to roam the water during those cool autumn months. This is Reacher, and here are 10 more of our favorite houseboats, catamarans, and a really cool floating home. Number 10. This first entry on the list is one of the few that has a walking deck with a safety rail surrounding the boat. High fives for that one. The front deck leads into a large carpeted living area with a couch, table, and the helm. This is connected to an open kitchen, which has a stainless steel sink, a dual burner cooktop, and a 130 liter refrigerator with an inside freezer. The bedroom is in the rear with a queen sized bed and a door leading to the back deck. Next to that is a full size bathroom with a large louvered window and an extra closet for storage. Stairs off of the rear deck lead to the roof which can be utilized as an extra terrace. It measures 538 square feet or 50 square meters so the sky's the limit on what you want to do up there. Pricing for this one will run you about $165,000. Number 9. Moat Manufacturer has created a series of houseboats that are perfect for that lifestyle of traveling and living on the waterways. The modular design of the M4 allows for it to be made according to the needs of the owner. Standard features include a full-size bathroom with a stand-up shower as well as a kitchenette with a sink and dual burner cooktop. Outside space includes patio decks at the front and rear of the boat in addition to the roof which can be utilized for sunbathing or congregating with family and friends. There's also an optional slide that can be attached to allow for a bit of fun when you want to get off the boat and into the water for a change. Pricing on this one currently starts out at $147,000. Number 8. Although this list harbors a variety of shapes to each one, there's still something to be said for the shipping container shape of this houseboat. Measuring just under 39 feet or 11.8 meters long and just under 16 feet or 4.8 meters wide, it has enough room for a family of four. A large sliding glass door provides entrance to the lounge area which has a fireplace, the steering unit, and a staircase leading to the roof as standard features. Behind that is the dining room and a full-sized open kitchen. A hallway leads to the rear where you'll find a full-size bathroom and the main bedroom which also has a sliding glass door that opens to the outside. Additional access to the roof is available via a ladder attached to the outside front of the boat. Just outside the living room is a small adjustable terrace area that can lower below the water line for easier access to the water and retract into the hulk of the boat when not needed. Current pricing on this one will run you around $285,000. Number 7. Located in Thailand, these structures were designed as part of the X2 River Kwai project. Each one measures 1,184 square feet or 110 square meters and is composed of a lightweight steel framework clad with plywood and fiber cement siding. Each unit was constructed off site and towed into place upon completion. Each one was placed to maximize the view of the river while minimizing the amount of sunlight that enters it. Additionally, aquatic plants were replanted around the site to aid the surrounding ecosystem. Each unit includes its own water filtration system, a bathroom with a stone tub and enclosed stand-up shower, a mini bar, and a bedroom. Sliding glass doors open up from the bedroom to a balcony which has steps that lead up to the roof which can be used as an extra terrace. Information for pricing on these is non-existent. If anyone can find anything, feel free to leave it in the comments. I'm kind of curious to know myself. While you're trying to figure out how to attach pontoons to a double wide trailer, be sure and hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon to stay up to date on all of our latest videos. Number 6. This next entry runs pretty wide in comparison to its length at 16 feet by 41 feet or just under 5 meters by 12.5 meters. Considering everything it has to offer, it only makes sense that it would need the space. The wheelhouse of the main deck also serves as the main living area. A couch and electronic control unit are located on the left behind the center mounted steering column while opposite sits a sink, dual burner cooktop, and a microwave. Sliding roof panels, a folding rear door, and windows which fully surround the saloon area provide an almost 360 degree view of the surroundings. 
The lower deck comes standard with two full bathrooms and two cabins which can be modified to accommodate more people if needed. Propulsion comes from a diesel or hybrid engine with pricing for each version starting at $532,000 and $653,000 respectively. Number 5 This eco-friendly boat is my personal favorite due to the ability to run it completely on solar power alone. And before any naysayers speak up, there is a hybrid system available and recommended for long trips. The flybridge has an open design that houses a lounge area and the main helm with a hard top to provide protection from the elements. A total of 3 kilowatts of solar panels on top of this and the roof of the main deck provide electricity as needed. The standard layout has a main deck with folding doors in the front that open to a lounge and dining area which also houses a full kitchen. There's also a secondary steering column that drops down from the ceiling if needed. Moving towards the rear of the boat brings you to another lounge area which can double as the main cabin. Stairs on each side of the lounge area lead down to cabins which can sleep up to five people. Pricing on this one will run you about $800,000. Number four. This catamaran houseboat combination is another entry that redefines the levels of luxury and comfort you can find on a yacht of comparable size. The 44 is the smallest of the six models currently offered by Overblue with 915 square feet or 85 square meters of living space. The open design of the flybridge houses the helm, a large dining table, and a galley which includes a mini fridge and a hidden wet bar with a sink, prep area, and a dual burner cooktop. A hard top over this area provides protection from the elements while solar panels on top provide electricity as needed. Standard features include a master cabin at the front with a king-size bed and a dedicated bathroom while sliding doors open up to a private deck area which has an electrically controlled sun visor. The rear houses a lounge area with a large couch, a dining table, and another galley area which includes a full-size fridge, dishwasher, sink, and stove. Sliding glass doors lead out to a deck area with a staircase providing easy access to the flybridge. Pricing starts at around $525,000. Number three. This one is huge for a houseboat. I can't stress that enough. The company prides itself on customization, so the photos you'll see in this segment are examples of the work they've done on different boats. They build boats measuring anywhere from 56 feet or 17 meters long all the way up to 115 feet or 35 meters long. The fly deck, if I can even call it that considering the length, is one big lounge area with the helm at the front. The main deck has a front and rear terrace area with the front leading into a large lounge area and an open kitchen that would make my grandma jealous. The bedrooms and bathrooms are off of a main hallway that lead to the back deck. Features that come standard are things such as ceiling fans in every outdoor area and every bedroom, outdoor carpet on the decks and steps, solid maple cabinets and paneling, and full-size appliances throughout, including a washer and dryer. And I just want to point out that this is the glassiest boat I've ever seen. Due to the level of customization on these boats, pricing for new models is unavailable, but there is a used 2011 model on the website listed at $889,000 if that'll give you any perspective. Number two. This triple decker has more to it than I probably have time to talk about. It's the largest of the cruise craft boats measuring in at 75 feet or just under 23 meters in length with roughly 3,900 square feet or 362 square meters of usable space. The top deck, or Texas deck as it's nicknamed, has a large hot tub with a swim up bar and a wet bar with a sink, bar fridge, and a dining area. The bridge deck has an entertainment area at the front which includes a dining area with a grill, mini fridge, and sink. There are also two slides at the rear of the deck for a bit of extra fun. The main deck is outfitted with a full-size kitchen, a home theater area, and a fireplace. This thing has a total of 10 staterooms and can sleep up to 24 people. I'm not sure what it would cost to buy this boat, but it can be rented for a minimum of three days starting around $4,600. Living on the water? Is that a yes or a no? Let us know in the comments what you think and which one of these you'd like to spend some time in. Number 1 
This entry on our list is also a catamaran style houseboat posing as a yacht. And as the case may be, it's redefining high-end luxury. It measures in at 78 feet or 23.8 meters in length with a beam of 36 feet or 11 meters. At the rear of this are two small stairways leading down to swim platforms with extra space for housing a tender. Sliding glass doors open off of the rear of the main deck to a living space with a large centrally located lounge area, a wet bar, a full-size galley, and a second helm. Depending on the floor plan, there can be anywhere from three to five cabins with a sleeping capacity for up to 10 people. Each cabin has a dedicated bathroom and either two full-size beds or a walk-around queen-size bed. There's also a panel on the starboard side of the bow that can lower to create a private deck area. If you're thinking about getting one of these, the starting price is around $3.8 million. Hey guys, this is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.